you have a clean sheet, uh, three great goals, and, and you have to be happy and satisfied. But yeah, um, on the other hand, satisfaction uh, leads to laziness. I don't want that. That was Eric Ten Hag speaking after Manchester United's 3-0 win against Nottingham Forest. And satisfaction leads to laziness. <clears throat> it's something that Eric Ten Hag has said so often this season. Uh, for the life of me, I swear I do not like doing videos like this where I have to point out negatives. But I see a fundamental contradiction in Harry Maguire's interview that he gave after England's victory against Italy against what Ten Hag has been trying to do and change at Manchester United all season long. So I'm going to run through what Harry Maguire said in this interview and why, in my opinion, it is such a big problem. Because as captains of Manchester United, I've said it all along, it's why Bruno Fernandes was given such criticism after that Liverpool game. And it's why players like Maguire and Fernandes will be scrutinised for what they say on a higher level than anybody else around them. It's not unfair. It's because you're captains. And as captains, the standards are higher. But Harry Maguire, in an interview with um, Henry, Winter, Henry Winter sorry, from the Times, this is what he said. I'm not going to go by the headline. I'm going to go by what he said himself. He was asked whether he felt properly appreciated. He said, yeah, for England, yes, I do. Obviously, last season was difficult for the club. But listen, I've proven myself to Gareth, who works with a wide range of centre-backs. He has the choice of all the centre-backs in this country, and I play every time I'm available. I've been in the team. I'm sure if you ask the rest of the lads, they know what I bring to the team. I'm 30 years old, but I shouldn't really need to prove myself at this level. I've over 50 caps. I'm England's top-scoring defender. And that line there. I shouldn't really need to prove myself at this level is the thing that, well, that's the cause of my frustration and the reason that I'm doing this video. <clears throat> there is no doubt that Harry Maguire is a better centre-back for England than he has been for Manchester United. He had, he, He's had good periods for United. He's not always been a terrible defender. But am I really going to trust the, the judgment of a manager who decides to give... Um, Marcus Rashford, what, four or five minutes off the bench against France? Nah, nah, I think you're right. But there's no doubt that Harry Maguire is a better centre-back for England. However, to say that, that you don't really need to prove yourself, it is the worst possible thing I think Harry Maguire could have said. And I was going to mention him later, but I think, imagine, look, I've you know full well here on United People's TV how... Bigger problem I felt Ronaldo's attitude was towards the end. But imagine Ronaldo had that sort of attitude. I don't need to prove myself. It is the it is the total contradiction of what Ten Hag has been saying all season long. Satisfaction leads to laziness. You have to invest. Invest in those runs. Invest in training. Invest in everything you do to become the best player you can possibly be. And you can reach those levels. And all of a sudden you can win five Champions Leagues. But Harry Maguire has been <clears throat> I just want to know your reaction to this because it's it's got me this one's got me and you know why it's because I remember this interview from last year as well you remember this yeah of course I mean uh, I'd say from this season I've had some bad games um but I wouldn't be playing every game for Manchester United in the starting 11 if I'd been playing bad every game or not not playing well enough there's a reason why both managers have put me in the starting 11 every game um, for what I bring to the team, what I bring to, to the starting 11. Um, but I do also understand that I'm the captain of this club. Um, I cost a lot of money. Um, and when things aren't going well and we're conceding too many goals, I'm going to get criticised. I remember that interview at the time and I felt it was a car crash of an interview. <clears throat> and I really feel this is something... I don't think personally that Harry Maguire will be at Manchester United next season. I think he will go on to be a very decent centre-back for another Premier League club in the same way that I don't think that uh, Scott McTominay will be a Manchester United player in the long term. But I think he will go on to be a very decent central midfielder, whether that be Newcastle, whether that be somewhere else. Just because it doesn't work at Manchester United doesn't mean they're terrible footballers. And Harry Maguire is not a terrible footballer. He's pretty bad at interviews, though. <laughs> this is not the first time that he said something just... 
as I said, for, for Eric Ten Hag, right, who has worked so hard this season on changing the, the, the attitude and the approach. And this is a man, right, Eric Ten Hag. Let me pull this up here. I was going to mention it later. I'll mention it now. This is a man who dropped his most informed striker, Marcus Rashford, when we didn't have any other strikers to play because he turned up late for a meeting. Eric Ten Hag is a manager who has discipline as one of the fundamentals of his power at the club, of his control at the club and the respect that goes two ways with the players. And here is Harry Maguire, his captain, saying, I've got nothing to prove at this level. What have England won? Nothing. So you've got everything to prove. Just like every player has everything to prove. Just like Cristiano Ronaldo, when he turned up at training, even though he was a multi-Champions League, multi-Ballon d'Or winning player, has everything to prove. You've got. He's talking about the level of England, right? He's not talking about his levels at Manchester United. I don't, I don't actually think he's been that bad this year. I'm not here criticising. I'm not here pointing out his performances. I'm here specifically talking about that approach. To say that, what do you think Eric Ten Hag will think when he wakes up and he goes, how do I just say that? Did my captain just say that he's got nothing to prove at this level? As I said, he's talking about he's talking about international level. But that's Ten Hag's attitude is so important to Ten Hag. Approach. The, the work ethic, everything. Look, that's why that Ronaldo Piers Morgan situation was such a complete and utter car crash. And Ronaldo might be the greatest goal scorer of all time, but you can't do that and get away with it. Now, if, if you run through everything else, he said, look, Harry Maguire just wants to play football. I understand that. I empathise with that. Every player should want to play football. But an idea of what you've done previously means, nah, you don't have to put the work in anymore. Now, look, I've looked. See, these last few years, man, I've got, like, I've got like 50 caps. I've made it. Crack it open. Let me sit on the lazy boy. Open a cold one. As soon as you do that, there will be somebody there who's younger than you, who wants your position, who will work harder and fight harder for that position, and it's gone. It's a, it, it's a mindset which, for me, strikes... <clears throat> Sorry. It's a mindset which... It's taking it for granted. And it is not a mindset which will sit well at all with Eric Ten Hag. That's what I mean. It is a fundamental contradiction to every, all the work he's done from day one as manager. And I just don't know why Harry Maguire would say it. I mean, he obviously thinks it. That's why he would say it. But if you've got like Manchester United right now, you've got these two. It is the best centre-back partnership we've probably had since Rio and Vidic in terms of the blend the balance, the quality, and Martinez, so good. And the qualities and the standards and the levels of Martinez have made it far more difficult for Harry Maguire to come back into this United team. I don't actually, as I said, I don't think he's been that bad since he's come back into the team. This isn't me as, as a witch hunt looking at his football. And I know he's got flaws in football, but every you know football has their flaws. I'm not talking about his football. I'm talking about the idea that Harry Maguire walks into that dressing room and goes, yeah, man, that, yeah it's all right. I've got nothing to prove here. And we know full well that that was a similar sort of mindset to how he had. Was it last season? I think he did this. He goes, ah, look, I wouldn't be in the same. I wouldn't be in the start 11 every week if I wasn't doing it right. There's, uh, it's so against what Ten Hag is trying. And it's pretty much the, the, the proof is in the pudding, right? I think. I don't think there's a way back for Maguire in the long term at Manchester United. And this isn't a witch hunt. There's no witch hunt. You know full well. Everything I say, everything I think, what's best for Manchester United? Cool. That's, in my opinion, well, not in my opinion, that, that's what drives my opinions. And I just, I, I, I had, I felt, I didn't have to do a video on this. No, I didn't. Just like I don't have to do a video on all the, all the positives that I see under Eric Ten Hag. But it's just a red flag. It's a red flag of an attitude that, stinks and that's coming from Manchester United's captain right now I want to know what you think about this am I going overboard do you think Eric Ten Hag will really care that much as I said this is a man who dropped his most informed striker 
because he was late for a meeting. And then he came off the bench and scored the winner. Attitude and application are just as important, if not more important, to Eric Ten Hag than quality and talent. And I will go back to this at the very start and reiterate and finish with this, what Eric Ten Hag said. Uh, three great goals um, and you have to be happy and satisfied. But yeah, um, on the other hand, satisfaction uh, leads to laziness. I don't want that. Uh, we have to... He doesn't want that. Satisfaction does lead to laziness. And the idea there from Harry Maguire, I've got nothing to prove. That's satisfaction. That's something that Eric Ten Hag does not want. I want to know what you think in the comments because I'm staggered by it. I really am.